did get in the chat. I'm going to try this one at 60 or 59.94 hertz. <coughs> yeah. Just to find out, um, CPU wise, I'm at about 4% right now. So using a little more, but not much. So let's get right back to where we were. So when we last left off, we had entered Lolitha's tomb where there was an accident due to the earthquake and they busted through and found out monsters because of course they did. Um, that's pretty much all we did. We did a bunch of other testing just to see what was going on. And yeah. Yeah, he's all the way back up where it was before and we need to re-blow things up. So whenever you leave a dungeon, everything goes back to the way it was. Other than items, obviously. The game does keep track of, uh, whatchamacallit, um, treasure chests. But what it doesn't keep track of is the state of those random things and also of these switches. So, just to show off our new spells, we're going to freeze this one here. So, those two will kill one. But Cecilia, doing a special attack, you'll notice that does a lot more than double the damage. So her normal spark attack was doing 50, that did 162. Critical hits, I think, are, or not critical, um, weaknesses, I think, actually cause things to do triple damage, which is ridiculous and easily exploited. Whoops. So... Good to know. I think there's a way to control the camera where it's not constantly rotating. I can't remember now. And another heal berry. I have a hunch that the drop rate on that is something like 25%. So you'll notice that there was something under uh, on top of there before, and unlike everything else that's left, or when I left the dungeon, that didn't reset. So, I think the way the game is doing this is that it has a section of memory that is just for state of, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, useless objects. Like, for instance, this rock here. It's not a big deal for me to destroy the rock. And then there's another set in memory. This one's not temporary memory, but more permanent memory. That's for, um, what should we call it? Toggle switches, items collected, and so on. Let's analyze these as well. Let's look at the rat monkey. Other than the fact that they're fast. Ish. And they have fewer than 67 hit points. Assuming I even get a chance to. Oh, I, I actually have characters in the wrong order. Nope, I don't get a chance to analyze. Not even close. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Cecilia leveled up. Yay! Hey, me from the future. Um, I may end up just putting this in the comments, but compare Cecilia's last level to this one, stat-wise, and we'll see. Fi we'll figure out what the stat difference is. I'm gonna do a video later on about what the impact of stats have on the game. It'll be a one-off video. It won't count for like a daily video or anything. That's right. Order. That was... So yeah, this is where I can change the camera view for what happens in battle. So I can do quarter view and it will just stay in that view the entire time. I know there was a way of changing the order. Where was that? I don't remember now. I missed. You have to, not quite pixel perfect, but you have to get really close on some of these to blow them up. 
And again, I'm mostly blowing things up because I want to know. Hand pan can't slip through that giant hole, apparently. Um, I'm mostly blowing up everything just to see if there's any items underneath this stuff. Oh, can't get the from here. How are you all? Ah, uh, the Ipe Loss. I think that's another mistranslation. I think that's basic. It's a demon turkey. And its attack is... Well, you're about to see it. You'll understand. And let's analyze the stupid thing. See, this is the quarter view. That's right. It went ha and fell on top of you. For its attack. Level 4. Has 85 hit points. And it's weak against fire. Mine damage! Ooh, damn you. That did MP damage, you bastards. So I could just keep it like this. This is the more traditional battle view, I guess. Mind damage on Jack? No, he doesn't have that many hit points, or MP. You bastards! I'm just gonna be keeping it like this for a bit. Rudy went up a level. Jack went up a level. Rudy's stats. Jack's stats. Ooh, his luck is worst. So, um, luck changes, by the way, each time that you sleep. So if you want, if you have best luck on everybody and you want to keep it that way without using items, you just never sleep again. The way it works in real life, right? Anyway. There's something else I was going to do. Oh, that's right. I was going to change camera angles again. We'll see how each of them look. Side view. So yeah, the game is basically making sure that you bring Rudy with you. Because this is not possible to do without Rudy. And it's heavily hinting that handpan should be around with the explosive chests. I think technically, uh, Cecilia is optional. Revive fruit. That resurrects somebody at low amounts of hit points. So you'll actually see me do this quite a bit, which is basically auto battle for Rudy and Jack and then just control Cecilia. It's because I use Cecilia's magic in combat, whereas I don't use Jack or Rudy's. Especially against things that do mind damage. Screw that noise. And I chose the wrong one. And you're hitting Cecilia again. Man, it'll be nice when I have enough magic resistance where that does nothing. Oh well, this thing's very, very dinner-like. <laughs> so this is the side view. This is much more traditional RPG style. We've got the characters on one side, and the enemies on another. front view for last.
So, yep. And this is the final view. I should have just chose Auto Battle for Cecilia. That would have been better. So if you have everybody on Auto Battle, they will actually use things together. So you'll notice that they... Well, in this case it won't matter, but... Um, they'll coordinate who's attacking what and so on. Effectively, they're smart enough. Oh, she's doing the booty wiggle. Aw, oh, yeah. This is actually the one I needed to explode, I believe. Watch how they coordinate, hopefully. Oh, Jack one-shotted it anyway. So Jack took the one on the right, Cecilia took the one on the left, and Rudy took the one on the left. Because Cecilia and Rudy took the same one, and Jack's the strongest one, that was the best way for them to take on two at once. Yeah, Jack can one-shot them. That booty wiggle again. Uh, I'm going to switch the camera back to motion again, unless if somebody specifically wants me to um, have it be a single viewpoint. It doesn't cause me any seasickness or anything. So, there is a switch there. Now, this is the part that, alright, you hit the switch and you can't get out. This is the part that insists that you have to have Jack. Because with Jack, you can do something like... Let's see, what direction do I want to go? Like this. Actually, I didn't want to go that way. I want to go grab that treasure chest. Because of course I do. Ugh. Ah, this is where you change the order, okay. So I want Jack, then Cecilia, then Rudy. The reason why I want that is that now they're in initiative order. I didn't mean to do auto battle for this. I meant to actually use magic. Oh well. A bit late now. Was that I plus needed to not do mind damage. Why don't they ever do mind damage to the one with no MP? Grrr. Make sure that's the actual time. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. My battery is starting to get low on my phone. Three wiggles in a row. Nice. Cecilia leveled up. She deserves a wiggle. All right. Editor me. Those are Rudy's next stats. And those are Cecilia's next stats. So what I'm going to be doing is figuring out if there's an actual pattern to this. In other words, can I figure out... Hey, look! Uh, it was 130 gil. That was barely even worth my time. Um, hey, look! Uh... Because I've leveled up the exact same way for the previous five or six times, that means that I can get an exact graph as to where my stats are going to be when.
Auto battle's nice. Especially when it comes to enemies like this. Just wish I had a fast forward button. It's one of the advantages of going on an emulator instead of real hardware, but I really wanted to use as close to real hardware as I could get for everything. I mean, this is a PS2, not a PS1, but there's no compatibility issues between them. Four booty wiggles. What in the world is just dictating doing that versus normal spin? I don't understand. Oh, save point. Hi. There we go. Yes, let's save. <laughs> yep, I see. Okay, I have to go this way. I don't have a choice. Actually, let's go manual for everybody. Crack. Flame. That one's more likely to be still alive. So, we get to finally see Ky Psycho Crack. It does damage. It also has a chance of randomly causing confusion, like it did over there. Confusion's fun on A pluses in my mind. Which they'll go next. And Oh no, I get to go. Well, I killed it. Um, confusion in this case. So many booty wiggles. There's gotta be something that's causing that. Um Confusion will actually spin them around, and wherever they happen to be facing is what direction they will attack. Which means that they will randomly attack the camera, they'll attack their friends. Confusion's a really handy status effect. This is the point that insists that you have to have Cecilia. And I do mean have to have. This is the wrong Oh no, this is the right way. Magic carrot. But the game is trying to make sure that you use all three characters. Just picturing how to do this one. Like that. There we go. Billberry. Is there an exit, another exit down here? Yes. I have no idea what that did. None at all. I bloss. You're going after rat monkeys. You are going to flame that eye bloss. You're going to go after a rat monkey. Yeah. The sound effects in this game are kind of ridiculous. They did a better job in the later ones, but while there's one sound effects, they just bought a sound effect library and used that. <sighs> oh, looks like I might be able to take on more than one of these. Oh wow, they have that few hit points. Got it. 26 is enough to kill them. Interesting. That was overkill. And the troll is back. Okay. What in the world causes the booty wiggle versus twirl? I don't get it. Ah. Okay. I missed. Pretty apple. There we go. So yeah, there's a really good reason why I'm using it on Cecilia over hardy appling anybody else. And that reason is because Cecilia is really weak. Four pill bugs. Let's analyze a pill bug, shall we? They're not gonna live very well. Pill bug! Level 2. 15 out of 15 hit points. No MP. Weakness is water. 
Aren't those really massive to be pill bugs? I can sort of see them being a roly poly pill bug type thing. But it's a bit of a stretch in my mind. Okay. Is this plot way? That might be plot way. Let's go back. If you can't tell, I'm going to be using some healing items in a bit. Alright, it's confused. See, that's what I mean by it just attacks in a random direction, and it's glorious. Especially when it makes that sound effect. Ah... Uh... And you're dead. You can tell when something's about to die because it stops moving, and all the sound effect appearances disappear. Cecilia and Rudy have gone up a level, and I received an old cape? Ape losses drop old capes. Well, first off, Rudy. Cecilia. And you already have an old cape. Worthless drop. It's not possible for me to not have an old cape. Teardrop. Uh -huh. On the devil's back, dark wings and a secret. On the other side of the door sleeps a great power. Tomb of Perpetual Sleep. I have no idea what that's supposed to be for. Why was there a teardrop door blocking that? I'm probably just forgetting something. Devil's back. There's a small button. Push it. Sure. I mean, that's a hint for what you need, but technically that means that you don't need Cecilia here. Which is weird. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have Cecilia here. I'm certain that you're supposed to have Cecilia here. How about that? Sliding block puzzles. A power. Okay. Oh, I need it for here. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, I should have healed first. Oh well, I'll heal during combat. First real boss battle. Oh, the real is still with an asterisk. It's a Magtor Taurus. It's a magical... Yeah. It's a big turtle. You're getting psycho cracked. You're getting analyzed. You're gonna shoot him in... Oh, you're not gonna shoot him in the face yet. EM laser! Electromagnetic laser. Ow. Funk. By the way, as per tradition for JRPGs, bosses are immune to all status effects. Level. Uh, HP. Uh, MP. Uh, weakness. Uh. That is also unfortunately very common with bosses. try break and I'm gonna lock on with hand cannon crack break under nine damage okay it doesn't have very good magic resistance that's for sure 
arm lock on. See? Upgrading that arm does quite a bit. Alright. Now I have to heal, because Jack is nearly dead. Oh, nope, Jack is actually dead. First death, everybody. Thanks, me. That was foolish of me. But I couldn't do the area of effect healing is the problem. And this will unfortunately go last. I guess I'm going to use a revive fruit. That's going to suck, because it's just going to kill Jack again, I think. So this is what Mystic does. It's an area of effect healing item. Mystic is the reason why Wild Arms Alter Code F was not made correctly. Aha, you dodge. Good. Um, so in Alter Code F, Cecilia doesn't have Mystic as her first force power. That's given to another character much later in the game. As a result, you have no area of effect healing for most of the game. Yep. Because you don't get area of effect spell healing for a long time. Crack. Mystic. Magic Carrot. No, actually. Healberry Jack. Arm Lock on Hand Cannon. She actually does less damage than, um... Actually, Jack probably does the least amount of damage right now. I probably should have had Jack use that. Oh, well. Arm lock on? Bling! Achoo. This is the reason why I don't care as much about the accuracy, because arm lock on just makes it have a 100% chance of hitting, no matter what. And yeah, 100% chance of hitting kind of means I don't care about such things. Um, let's see. Crack. Mystic, Healberry, get everybody back up to full, arm lock on hand cannon. It's much more efficient to arm lock on every round that you can, and then the rounds that you can't just attack, rather than have that 15% chance of missing in the case of a hand cannon. So I very rarely increase accuracy until I have nothing else to do, basically. Oof, that hurt. Take a crit to the face of 40, yeah. Alright, so. Crack. We're going to... Mystic Magic Carrot. And you're going to attack. This is not going to be a great turn for damage. Mystic! Magic Carrot power unreleased. Thump! Hey look, Rudy gained no MP. It's almost as though he has no MP. Also, Rudy having sorcery points means nothing in this game. Nothing. Yeah, uh, so Jack has Accelerator, which I can use just to show an example. It just means that Jack goes first. It does nothing else. All right, I'm gonna try Flame. Oops. Arm lock on hand cannon. And it's probably dead on this turn, would be my guess. And I probably didn't even need the magic carrot. Yeah, Mystic Healberry will be my primary form of healing for a long time. Until it upgrades the Mystic Potion Berry instead, basically. It'd be nice when Psycho Crack actually does damage. I actually don't usually use Psycho Crack, I prefer the later ones. But. The only one Jack has right now is Psycho Crack. Oh, so unlike every other JRPG, nobody gains magic by leveling up. 
So there's not, hey, look, I leveled up to this point, Jack gets a new spell type of thing. Which is interesting in my mind. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Good to know. Not much I can do other than, all right, let's try Vortex this time. Why not? Almost out of ammo. Drunk. Still alive. Vortex? That's what Vortex looks like. I summon tornado in your face! I mean, it's dead, but that didn't do extra damage. Probably didn't have a weakness, unless if it was holy or evil. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. Yeah. Nobody leveled up though, because I fought way too many things in the meantime. Avoid plot at first, because we are meeting our next character. Hey, look, it's the magic carrot I used. Great. What? That, that's the golem. Thanks, Handpan. Same golem written about in the legend? Probably. In the ancient days, when Filgaia was surrounded by forests, it was said that there were eight weapons of the ancient giants. They were sealed away in some secret place after nearly they nearly destroyed the world. Cat. Zone's tail is striking again. Here, Zone Kitty, say hi. His belly's back to normal. Yay! Ow. Uh, some of these weapons were found in ruins in this area. So, I should mention, and this is something that they don't really say too much of in the game, all of the golems were found near Adelaide. Specifically Adelaide. Not anywhere else. I had no idea that a golem was hidden near Adelaide. Yeah, this area, not, not literally Adelaide, but yeah. Like, this section of the continent, the area that we've walked through. So no further than the Temple of Memory. I wonder if the power in this tomb is different from the power that I've been seeking all this time. Ah, oh, I need to go to the power. The power we felt here is probably the golem. Jeez. How am I supposed to use this? That's huge! I can barely lift it! You you can't lift it. Yeah, um, let's get this over with. There's nothing here for me. I must notify the professor about the gold. See, you see what I mean by handpan's really the character and not Jack? Jack has personality later, but... Hello, Gollum. Uh, Cat, why are you stepping on my headphone cable? I know you want to be in my lap, and that's fine. But, uh... And out. Now we run back. Zone's claws are really sharp right now, and I'm wearing shorts. We'll just put it that way. And now he's licking my toes. He really wants my attention. This will be the last video I'll record today, by the way. Um... In order to maintain what I need to do, I really only need to record about two to three videos a week. I recorded three last time. Two this time is perfectly fine. Done, kitty. Here, I've got a hairbrush for you. Come on. He's shedding so much. I mean, he likes the hairbrush, he just doesn't like it as much as some other things. Also, more booty wiggles. That's supposed to be a relatively rare thing. Like, one out of every four is more what I would expect, not every other, like it is right now. Oop, too far. Oop, sorry, Ezo. Let's hit the save point, because we've defeated a boss.
Yeah, you can't run down ladders, which makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, this is basically just to speed your way out. Cat. <sighs> you know what? There. He's on my lap, laying down now. <sighs> Kitty. Pail's right here. The problem with sitting on the couch is that while my cats really enjoy it when I sit on the couch because then they have more of a lap to sit on, you don't see as much of my cats. We all know that the secret of my success is kitties. Jack leveled up, and I gained a travel vest. Travel vest isn't that like Rudy's basic item or basic equipment. Yep. <sighs> Anyway, future me, that's Jack's level up. Those French horns. The golem's been found. Our work here is nearly done. So you guys, we can resume our work. Please inform Emma. And that chest is going to stay there. And we need to remember to come back here once we actually have the tool be used to grab that. Emma's back where she was, but we're no longer in combat area, so this is easy. Used to be a lot better at running around. Really? The golem truly exists! Then I was right in picking this site. I'm a genius! Oh, uh, you guys are great too. We can't just sit around here, we must excavate it now! Please take some of my crew with you to the site where you found the golem. I'm counting on you. It's kind of bossy, jeez. So luckily it cutscenes. And now we get the sequence. I love how Emma just comes in via a crane. All right, let's blow it up. You want to break it? Got it. And we bring the golem up further. With two massive cranes. It's a pleasant surprise that my Emma motor was effective here. Thanks to you and my Emma motor, we were able to pull her out. Yes, this is Lolitha, one of the eight golems. Isn't it cute? This thing is unbreakable, and it's still in mint condition and completely dormant. A reward of 500 gala will be ready for you, but you must come by tomorrow. I'll be too busy preparing for the festival today. We get our money tomorrow. After that, I'll go on to the next ruin with Hitman. Parting so soon? It's a life of a dream chaser, you know. Let's get back to the inn. The festival starts tomorrow. Greetings, this is Adelaide. Tomorrow the ruin festival begins. Save. I'm tempted to end it here just because this is a convenient spot for it to end. I need to reload. So basically each ammo is 10 gala, at least for the hand cannon. I think it's 10 gala for all of them, but I can't remember. Oh, I should sell some of the useless equipment because I have extra copies of some things.
I meant to keep that power apple, that's gonna bother me. More interest in armor than the machine. Okay, there's nothing else I can do purchasing wise. There's nothing else I can do right now at all, actually. So, sleep for the night. You are required to, by the way. Tomorrow we'll go to the festival together. But I have to get going now. I have no idea why I was summoned to the North Ruin. But I'm glad to know that I was some help. After I go, I might not be able to travel with you. But I'll never forget our adventure. Hope you guys will treat me the same way as I've treated you. Uh, uh, okay. So now it's just Jack and Rudy for a bit. Except for Cecilia. Who's now officially coming in. Are you prepared for the world nomination? The morning of the festival has arrived. Oh, it's festival time, all right. Parade music! Really, but please don't overdo it. So, uh, as usual, the standard gameplay segregation of you can rest in the end as many times as you want, it's still the same day, even though you had to rest at the end to make it the next day. Greetings, the ancient civilization exhibit is on display now. Come in and immerse yourself into a time that has long since passed. It's surprising that the golems are found all over Filgai, not just in the Northern Ruin, except they all came around Adelaide. Hint, hint, there's something weird about this place. Hi, you helped with the excavation, right? Professor Emma has gone to the festival already. See, cannot select. Yeah, let's upgrade it again. This looks good. No, oh, that's fine for now. Uh, eventually, I'll upgrade ammo as well. But for the time being, and cannon starts with a lot of ammo. There's not much reason to upgrade ammo on it yet. Let's keep an eye out for any accidents. So fun, I want to do this every day! Golly gee! I'm sure that you would love to have a festival every day. Better check out this festival. May not be another one. Go up these stairs where the festival is being held. See the golem? That was something. It should be a festival every day. A fraction of what's still in the ruins. So, yeah, you can sell stuff here. That way you have enough money to do things in the festival. The demon's real also? Yeah, it's been such a long time that they just assume it's fairy tales now. So, yep. There's Lolitha. Also known as the Ice Queen. In ancient legends, it froze the enemy demons to death. Near Adelaide. Okay, maybe they weren't all near Adelaide, now that I think about it. Come one, come all. Looking bowl catching. Oh, bring luck to your otherwise normal life. You want to know the rules? Sure. The rules? Pull as many of them out of the ground as you can. Yeah, 30 seconds. Go. Only 100 gal. Oh, freaking hell, they charge a lot for their carnival games. I'm terrible at this, if you can't tell. Doesn't help that I'm not using a controller that's very conducive for doing this. Nine captured. I get a magic carrot. Should probably look up... Let me go look up the... Rewards for this. Uh, let's see. Um, arms. Festival games. Okay. So, um, 
festival. So, mole catching game. Um, oh yeah, it's 12 plus to get the good stuff. Which is good to know. Skeletons. They look human. Their use is unknown. They've been found in several places. Their use is that you need internal structure to... Anyway, I will go ahead and try this again. One. Darn it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, darn it, eight, nine, again, magic carrot, again, it's not what I wanted, all right, other mini games, um, ultimate chicken game is not a great game, that's up here, I want to say, what is this, I don't understand, Exciting nonetheless. Mysterious black boxes, which may be some type of control device. There's Emma. You guys, we made it on time. Here's the payment. Take it easy. There's a lot of C here. I'm sure you'll do something that interests you. So this one is Diablo. A flamethrower for close combat. Tough but agile armor. Good hand hand abilities, nicknamed the Crimson Wind. This was found in Arctica. That's right. Yep, they were in different spots. I remember now. Yeah, because that doesn't look like a mech. It's Barbados. This weapon on its shoulders is a fire device. Hard armor reminds one of some indestructible fortress in the ocean of sand. There are a couple of mini games I specifically need to do. Asteroid from the Ocean of Stars. Fragment of metal. Nobody's been able to duplicate it. Nope, I'm not talking to her right now. Yep, this is the one that I need to do. Throw the ball at the target. There's some nice prizes. It'll bounce, and we'll see where it lands. Okay, so it's going to bounce around randomly is the problem. So you actually get some really nice things for doing this, but you need, and I mean need, to do this. Ugh, so far away. So this is gonna be a bit. See, it just completely randomly bounces. There's no rhyme or reason to it. You can stand in the same place and get completely different results every time. It's mostly bouncing to the right though, so I might aim to the left. Luckily, I have a lot of money. Probably shouldn't have upgraded my arm, but... See, now it's bouncing to the left for no reason. Uh... The ultimate reward is something you can't buy, is the thing. And there's a limited number of them in the game. Eat him prize is a bullet clip. Um... Yeah, there's a very limited number in the game. So any one that you get helps. Though I think they're a random drop of an endgame enemy. You did well. I'll give you revive fruit. And 30 gela for revive fruit is an awesome price anyway. And for a bullet clip, I don't know if you can buy those. Although you, there's usually plenty of them in the game. Not even close. Again, it's a completely random thing, so I'm going to have to do this for a bit. Uh, yeah, I should. 
Minimize that so I can keep track of time. We're at 50 minutes. It is actually well worth the money. Regardless of how much money I spend on this, if I can at least get the center once, it'll be worth it. And I don't think I can actually get it more than once. Maybe I should have saved first, that way I could reload in the event that I spend all of my money. It's starting to feel like I'm going to spend all of my money. See what I mean? It's like, it doesn't... There's no rhyme or reason to this. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I don't like a lot of mini games. Especially like this. It's like, the game's just trying to mess with you at this point. But I want that item! Nope. should totally count. Rumble. Ah. Seriously? Not even close. Look <laughs> at how much money I've already spent on this. If it weren't for the fact that this is one of the best things in the game, I would not be bothering with this. Okay, zone. And yeah, you can only get it once. I just double checked in the wiki. Wiki's very helpful, by the way. You need to get it exactly in the middle to get the awesome reward. I mean, the item for Bullseye the second time is still really nice, but you don't really need it this early in the game. And even the wiki says that you're probably going to spend about a thousand gela to get it. Oh. 
Starting to think I need to reload. How long am I on money now? Alright, I'm gonna stop it if I drop below a thousand. Because so honestly, this is the main thing that I need. I mean, doing the mole catching game, I also get a nice reward, but that one's less needed. It's an agile apple. six minutes. I mean, this is the only thing I was planning on doing for the rest of this video anyway, so. Alright, I only have four more until I give up and then reload. Uh-uh. Got it! Finally! Secret sign. So, secret signs... Unfortunately, I'm really low on money now, but secret signs. Consume one less MP on a fast draw. Secret signs allow Jack to reduce the cost of his spells to a minimum of one. Eventually, that becomes stupid overpowered. I'm going to do the chicken game, but it's not a great reward. It's So... Basically, it starts from this line, and you run, and you have to stop as close as you can to the wall. Sure. Nope. Too close. That's just plain stupid. So yeah, um, the best that you get is a magic carrot from that, I think. Yeah, the best that you can get is a magic carrot. Zone, what are you doing? He's in Crazy Cat Hour mode again, and he's in the... No. He's in the table right now. Okay. Zone! He's trying to nom on something. Okay. Last thing I'm going to try to do is get some moles. So yeah, anything 11 moles or higher gives me good stuff. I'm actually going to save this time. Because I don't have that much money, unfortunately. And yeah, I know I can sell him something. Like, for instance, I don't need that many heal berries right now. I don't think they'll buy... Oh, they actually do buy Secret Sign. And it's worth 7,500. That gives you an idea as to how ludicrously awesome that is. And I'll be holding on to it for a bit. Because I don't have the correct things yet. Let's get out of here. Go to a save point. I can walk out of town and go grind to get things, to get money. And I may end up doing that off camera. Um, I was thinking that I might need to do the uh, get the secret sign off camera, but I apparently don't need to. Uh, yeah, actually, given the time, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera and get some money. And then I'll start recording again with some, and explain my loot. You've already seen me do the mole game. It's the same thing. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, and absolutely nothing terrible will happen on the next video. Bye!